I was born in the late 70s, and I grew up during the 80s and 90s. And I loved watching the movies and TV series of that time. So let's go back a few years. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. We have the capability to make the world's first bionic man. Your storage capacity? I can carry nearly 80 gigs of data in my head. Input the data into the brain of a human courier. Well, to save the left arm. What? I thought we agreed on total body prosthesis. Now lose the arm, okay? Now, as you see, it was not just Hollywood I was seduced by the thought of having part human and part machine. I have always found it very interesting to see how we can use technology to optimize a human being. So, when I first heard of this small microchip, so small it could be embedded, embedded under the skin and being able to talk with computers, this was absolutely no brainer for me. The chip has the size of a grain of rice. It's rigged with NFC and RFID technology embedded in a biocompatible glass container. A company, an American company, first started selling these injection kits online. And this is what you get when you order this. A drape, a pair of plastic gloves, a gauze pad, a plaster in case you bleed. Some do, I didn't. And this syringe with a chip inside. As you have figured out already, as you can order these online, you get them shipped to your home address, you can actually perform this procedure yourself. But that would be really stupid. If you do that and you end up hurting yourself, because, because you can actually do that, you can end up hurting yourself pretty bad. That would be the end of my story. So please don't. Instead, go to a professional. Go to a piercing studio. You know, these guys, they... Uh, put holes in people for a living. They know what to do, <laughs> for sure. Or go to a doctor. But when you're there, you're going to put the chip somewhere. You can actually put this chip anywhere you like in your body. But if you're going to use it on a daily basis, the most optimum place to put it is right here, between the index finger and the thumb. That's where most people put theirs, and where I put mine. Back in 2014, me and 14 other biohacking interested guys met at a bar in Malmö in Sweden. We talked of how we could transfer our knowledge between us and how we could grow the community. Our meetup group has, up until this date, a little bit more than a year later, grown a thousand percent. And a couple of guys in Finland started this annual biohacking summit, also in 2014. They are meeting in the UK later this spring. In Austin, Texas, they have this body hacking convention, and in Florida, a grind fest. The biohacking community is growing larger by day. In November last year, at this developer conference, we upgraded 63 people in one day. And a couple of weeks later, at an event in Gothenburg, we upgraded 23 more. Now, this was rather interesting because 13 of those 23 were women. 13. And three of those women were more than 50 years old. Now, for me, this is a statement. This shows that we are getting accepted and it's happening far faster than we could have ever imagined. But why is this happening right now? As some of the other speakers here today have been talking about, it's the internet, internet revolution of things. That is why this is happening right now. Because we humans, we don't speak Wi-Fi. We don't speak NFC or Bluetooth, but with this, microchip implant, all by a sudden, we can be part of the revolution. We have just scraped the surface of what this technology can do. 
really, really soon we will start seeing companies utilizing this tech, creating products and services for their customers. Now I'm going to show you a couple of areas where I have been experimenting with my chip implant. So I leave home in the morning, activating the alarm. And when I come to my office, I unlock and open the door. When I approach my password-protected computer, I unlock it. And when I go to the gym, I have my gym card details synced to the chip. To the chip. Now, all of these things, they clutter our lives. Things that we carry around in our pockets every day. And all of these things can actually easily be replaced by this technology. And that is happening right now. Now, there is one area that is of special interest to mine, and that is banking transactions, because it affects so many people on a daily basis. So I gathered a team. A hardware engineer named Juan Jutara from Arduino, and a developer colleague of mine, Hector Valin. Together we created BioPay. BioPay lets you pay with a swipe of your hand. Blip. Now, I'm going to show you a short demonstration of this. Please be patient. Remember, this is not brought to you by some cooperation company, and it's not a product. It's something built by a couple of friend, biohacking friends. So it's always nerve-wracking to do live demonstrations like this. So let's hope for the best. My computer went to sleep. That probably means we will have to check some stuff. So right here, we have this window. This is my, an, uh, an account where I'm going to withdraw money from. And this window here is the receiving account. So you will see money go from here to here. So have a look at this up in the right corner. Now, this one, that's the terminal application. So this is where I type in how much I want to pay. And the one in the lower part here is just for my information. So that I see uh, everything works fine. So I'm going to start by resetting all this, restarting. Right. So I'm very rich. I have 14 euros. I want to pay myself 10 euros of those. So, okay, let's pay. Hold your chip implant next to the reader. This is the reader, by the way. It's connected to my computer via the USB port. Processing payment. And the payment went through. Right there. So, this was actually... <laughs> <laughs> This was the first time we demonstrated this as a TEDx, in a TEDx uh, show, so that's great. <laughs> We've done it live before, but uh, this was a bigger bang. Uh, okay, thank you very much for your patience for this. I'm glad it went fine. You can take it down, please. And my clicker. So, okay, let's go back to the event in Gothenburg, because there were more interesting things happening there. We upgraded 23 people, and those who got upgraded, we preloaded their microchip implants with 60 US dollars because we was at this high-end store, allowing them to browse the store and buy stuff for the first time with just the swipe of their hand. And as this was the first experiment that we did with BioPay, I was sure to uh, interview every one of them afterwards, and they said it didn't feel, nor <laughs> it didn't feel awkward or weird. And to my big surprise, they actually told me that it felt normal to pay with the hand. So for me, that was a big victory. I was invited to speak at this bankers meeting in Norway. And we talked of uh, this technology, of course, and uh, 
the future of payments. They are really, really interested in this kind of stuff because they have been limited to these plastic cards for years. The same plastic cards you all have in your pocket. Using every day for payments. And some of them are equipped with NFC technology. That means you can do contactless payments. And that's great. But regardless of that, this technology allows you to do smaller transactions, 20 to 30 euro per transaction, five, six times a day, without even typing in your PIN code. That's the level of security we're talking about here. And if you drop your card, well, you can figure it out what, what, what can happen. But let me ask you a question. How many of you in this room has, at some point, forgotten your wallet at home? Raise your hand, please. That's pretty much everyone. Me included. <laughs> so, uh, how many of you have forgotten your hand at home? <laughs> we can actually provide better uh, physical security with this. And uh, later on this year, we will start seeing new microchips on the market. It's kind of the same technology, but it has add-on. It's, um, it's an encryption module on the chip. That means that anything you sync to the chip will get encrypted. With that, we also can provide a better digital security. You can, of course, sync encrypted data to the chip already, but with this, anything you sync will get encrypted. If we look even further into the future, and this is interesting, we don't know what this microchip will look like, how they will look like, but we are quite certain that they won't look like the ones we're having today. And if we, if we put some processing power in there, that's where the magic starts to happen. Now imagine if you, if you uh, put a couple of sensors, then we can start reading your biometrical data. And all by a sudden, you are the next big data. For processing power, we also need a power source, and that is actually where this technology lacks today. We have not yet found a way to effectively power up a microcomputer inside of our bodies. This is kind of a tough barrier to break, but there are a few things on the horizon. A team in Washington has actually found a way to uh, harvest power over the Wi-Fi signals. And I learned yesterday that there is actually a product out on the market using this kind of technology. And a friend of mine is working with a researcher team in Malmö in Sweden, and they have found a way to harvest power from your tears. <laughs> How rad is that? So as these researcher teams are moving forward and uh, the electronic circuits are getting smaller and more power efficient, I would say that within a year, we will be able to power up microcomputers doing a certain set of tasks within our bodies. These microchip implants, they represent a new paradigm. Up until now, we have used technology to replace lost body functions. Deaf people are getting hearing aids. Heart-sick people are getting pacemakers, and those who tragically have lost a limb can have a prosthesis. The chip implants are different. They are used by healthy people, people like you and people like me, in order to give our bodies completely new capabilities, like speaking with the Internet of Things, for example. Now, as shown here today, this is no longer a French thing. It's breaking into the mainstream. And it's just the beginning of the upgraded human. Thank you very much, and happy biohacking. <laughs>